Hello, 6th graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 8.2, Surface Areas of Prisms, Lesson. Pause while you write Section 8.2 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use a net to find the surface area of a prism. Today we'll be starting on page 362 in your math textbook. Example 1, finding the surface area of a rectangular prism. Find the area of the rectangular prism. Use a net to find the area of each face. So yesterday, the key idea that you wrote in your math notebook showed you how to take a rectangular prism and unfold it, flatten it out, so you had a net like what you see here to help you find the surface area of a prism. So when you have all of your parts labeled, it makes a lot of sense because you you just end up having many smaller rectangles. So once you have it labeled, you have the top and the bottom, the back, two sides, and a front. You see that the top and the bottom are the same size, so you have 7 times 4, which equals 28, and you have that 2 times. You have the front and the back, 7 times 3, and you have that 2 times, so that's 21, 2 times. And then you have each side is 4 times 3, so they're getting this 3 from the end here. So 4 times 3 is 12, and you have that two times. So when you add all of that up, you have 28 plus 28 plus 21 plus 21 plus 12 plus 12, and that equals 122. So the surface area is 122 square inches. And you do need to be sure and square it because it's area. So area is still area. So even though it has the word surface in front of it, you still need to square it. Example 2, we'll be finding the surface area of a triangular prism. So just like your key idea showed you yesterday, we'll be using a net to find the surface area of each face. So we unfold it, flatten it, and then we have something that looks like this. So the bottom is 12 by 8, so that's 96. The front and the back are both one half by twelve by five. So let me show you where they got those numbers. Remember the area of a triangle equals one half base times height. So the base of this triangle is five centimeters. The height of it is twelve centimeters. So the half comes with the formula. So 12 times 5 is 60, and half of 60 equals 30. So the front and the back are the same, so you have 32 times. And then the sides in this one are not equal, so you have a side that is 13 by 8, which is 104, and you have a side that is 8 by 5, which is 40. So you have to add those separately. So you find the sum of the area of the bases. And when you add all of those numbers up that we just discussed, you get 300. So the surface area is 300 square centimeters. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 6 below. They are also on pages 362 to 363 of your math textbook. Be sure to show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, Come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. 
We'll see you next time in class.